Hello and welcome to Jeff Eisenberg's Six Minute Right to the Point video series, episode number two. Today we have Andy Horowitz from the Estate Management Group. He's a financial planner, and today we're going to talk about a few couple different topics. Um, one of them is basically the different ways in which investing can minimize your income, capital gains, and estate taxes. So Andy, welcome to the show. Oh, thank you, Jeff. Good to have you. Thank you. So why don't you tell us uh, ways to minimize those, those items? Sure. Well, I think one of the things that many people aren't aware of is the fact that you can use what are called alternative investments. Now, alternative investments come in all different forms. Um, you can have energy investing, energy leasing, tax credits, which can invest in all sorts of things from equipment that people buy in businesses and then lease them where you get depreciation or energy where you can get runoffs for energy um, such as intangible drilling costs and things like that and then depletion allowances and then of course tax credits for affordable housing where retirees and things move into where there's tax benefits. Now these investments don't apply to everybody it depends on your circumstances and whether you qualify for them but definitely speak with an advisor and find out if it makes sense for you. Um, the second item are things called insurance policies. Um, many times people hear the term life insurance is free well, the reality is life insurance is free, estate tax free if it's held outside the estate, but the death benefit is actually includable in the estate, in which case it can be taxable. So you can actually use it to minimize estate tax. Another benefit of life insurance is the fact that the accumulation inside a life insurance policy grows tax deferred, much like a pension or an IRA. So with life insurance, you can actually pull money out with loans and withdrawals and make it tax free. As long as you keep that policy in force, that money would come out tax free. And ultimately, when you pass away, the death benefits then become taxable to the next generation. There's some tax consequence to the second generation, but during your lifetime, it's a great tax deferral vehicle. So, so Andy, so what you're saying is that you're talking about vehicles for life insurance, such as whole life, maybe variable universal life, things Correct. like that. Correct. Universal life, whole life, um, a universal, all these type of policies. And in fact, sometimes what people don't realize is they're using that at work. So they may have what's called a deferred compensation plan, when, which technically is a life insurance contract. So uh, I definitely think there are a lot of different ways you can use it. Um, the third area is municipal bonds. Now municipal bonds, people are of the opinion, those are government and state run entities and you have to worry about these things, but the one benefit they have is the fact that the income on some of these are both federal and state tax free. So if I'm in a situation where I've got a bond, a corporate bond from Johnson & Johnson that's paying 5%, or I have a tax-free bond paying 3.5 or 4%, one would think that Johnson & Johnson would be a better investment. Well, the fact of the matter is, if you're in a high tax bracket, you're better off to use a municipal bond because your tax yield equivalent, if you factor in the tax benefit, is actually a higher rate of return in a municipal bond. Now, municipal bonds are also a great vehicle uh, for hedging yourself um, and actually making money as interest rates go down, but you can also lose money as interest rates move up. The final area, because I know we're short on time, are IRAs and pension plans. Uh, whether you're working for a company where you're getting a 401k plan and it's tax deferred and tax deductible, whether you're an individual that's already maxed out your 401k and you want to put money to an IRA, or whether you're self-employed or a business owner, you can actually use your own uh, defined contribution plans, money purchase plans, defined benefit plans as a great vehicle. And in some cases, we've seen clients that are in their 60s that don't have a pension plan that can deduct upwards to $100,000 in one year. So depending on your circumstances, those are great, great vehicles and ways that you can actually minimize taxes. I think a lot of times people get hung up on the idea that taxes are, are you know, there's no ways to minimize taxes. The reality is, back in the late 90s, a lot of people had stock options, for example. Stock options create a great taxable event between what you're granted and what you exercise becomes ordinary income. Energy investing is a great way to offset the taxes on those options, and it's a great, great tool. That's fantastic. So Andy, so you know, I've known you quite some time and I know that some of the investments that you offer are very unique and different than most financial planners. Um, why don't you just tell us a little bit about what you as the estate management group, what you guys offer to your clients that may be a little bit different than what most financial planners can offer. Um, well, I think the main difference between our firm and a lot of other firms is the level of service. Um, we're not an 800 number that you get a call center in Iowa. We're one-on-one, -on -one, we're person-to-person, -person, and we actually work directly with families. Uh, we typically take a 360 view of their financial planning needs, whether it be cash flow, income tax planning, estate planning, investment planning, etc. It's a comprehensive service, and the fact of the matter is we have a proprietary process 
called the Family Wealth Cycle that we take people through that has actually been used across the country, so we've been really happy about that. In fact, if you want to learn more about that, I'd suggest them go to our website, which is www.emgplanning.com, or attend one of our educational workshops that we hold in town here. Now, Andy, you, you, you're big, big in the community. I know uh, for many years you, you held a lot of um, events locally in town, and you also sponsored a lot of things. And, you know, it's very appreciative, of course, because obviously I'm in this city as well. But um, you do do a lot of seminars, and you do have some coming up, correct? Uh, we do. Actually, the one that will be happening here in December, actually we're in the month of, uh, uh, let's say we're in July now, we're going to have them in August, September, and October. We'll be having them approximately every, every four to six weeks over at the Salt Creek Grill. Well, fantastic. Well, listen, we're running out of time, but uh, if you want to hear more about the topic we talked about today, please give Andy a call at the end of this presentation. I'm going to put up Andy's information so that you can call him and ask questions. And uh, he's agreed to do a free consultation for anybody who is interested in uh, talking about uh, ways to minimize your taxes. And again, thanks, Andy, for being on the show. Six My minutes pleasure. is not a long time, so uh, over and out. Take care. Till next time. <laughs>